Turning now to Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial here in New York. Week two of testimony getting underway this morning after opening last week with the key prosecution witness, the former publisher of the National Enquirer, who told jurors he helped kill stories potentially harmful to Trump's election chances in 2016. NBC senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett is here with more. Laura, good morning. This is just uh, the first part of the case. We didn't have court Friday, didn't have it yesterday. So where are we? Where do things stand? So there are some witnesses in this trial that are there to tell a story for the prosecution. And there are some witnesses that are just there because you got to get the documents in. There's no other way to get the evidence in. So today we're going to hear more from a guy named Gary Farrow. He was at the bank that Michael Cohen used when we were talking about the hush money payment that gets made. That's not a payment that Donald Trump makes. It's a payment that Michael Cohen makes to Stormy Daniels, prosecutors say, to try to keep her quiet. So we have to now hear from the banker who actually processed that payment. So I think you're going to sort of see this happen throughout the trial where it seems like, why do they have to bring this guy in it. It's because they don't get the evidence in any other way. And prosecutors generally want to start strong and they want to end strong. But there's going to be a lot of these kinds of people in the middle. Yeah, the building blocks of the case that they hope to wrap together by the end. Let's talk about the gag order. The judge held a hearing on it for violations yes. of the gag order by the former president, but has yet to issue a ruling. Yeah, it's really curious. And I think it's safe to uh, at least see it in the context of that he understands this is somebody who is running for president. This has never happened before. And I think he's trying to be careful. He doesn't want to do anything to go too far, get overruled on appeal. He also sees that the former president is using all this, right? He's fundraising off of it. And he's attacking the judge left and right. So I think the judge is trying to be careful, but it's also... It comes to a certain point where if he's not going to enforce the rules, why does he have these The court prosecution orders? said in court last week yeah. they think that the former president is angling to be incarcerated, yeah. trying to basically go with the judge yeah. into putting him yeah. in jail. and I think the judge doesn't want to take the bait. Okay. But at a certain point, then, if he doesn't enforce the rules, then he sort of looks like he's powerless and he's going to hold another hearing on it. And, guys, this is why this case is also taking so long, right? He has to take time out of what would be a witness day to hold a two-hour hearing on a gag order. Mm -hmm. All right, Laura, you're going to court today. Well, We'll yep. talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.